Everybody, what's up? What's up, bitches? How y'all doing? <laughs> How you fucking doing, eh? Hey there. How the fuck is you, eh? How the fuck you is, eh? Eh? Already getting money. Hail CJ. Hail you, Ray Gunner Gaming. Hail you. Uh. And your generous $6.66. Hey there, Jamie Dark Hay. How's it going? Noxy Osborne gave 20 fucking dollars. Dollars says number one, life is a prison overflowing with mentally ill and egomaniacal inmates. Agree. Number two, it is crushingly harder to care about anything at all anymore. With each passing day, how do you cope? Who says I do? Number three, will you sign my banana? I hope that's a. Uh, I hope it's not a real banana. But yeah, I'll sign it. Stick it in my hands. I'll sign it. What happened with the Abandoned Hope? I was having some uh, pretty bad um, voice issues. My voice was just totally shot. Um, I didn't think that you guys would want a raspy, limited vocal range Abandoned Hope. So, uh, you know, I was having like some sinus issues and my fucking tooth was hurting because it's been having issues. I had a root canal today. I have to go get a crown. I'm scheduled to get a crown tomorrow, but I'm going to try to reschedule because my mouth is just, I feel like I'm too sore to go through another dental surgery just a, a day later. So I'm just like, give me a day of recuperation before you fucking put me through that shit. Because I don't think I can handle another fucking, I don't think I can handle it with this already sore ass mouth. So, you know, whatever. I know no one gives a fuck about some long, boring fucking dental story, but, you know. That's what I've been going through, you know. I just didn't feel like it would, it would be a good abandoned hope, you know. Tooth hurting, fucking throat hurting. Wasn't really in the right mindset for it. I felt like, you know, you guys would probably be better served if I did it. I think I'm going to do it this Saturday, but... Fuck dental surgery. I hate that shit. Yeah, but, you know, you, you can't put it off, you know? You got to do it. Because you don't do it, it, just you're making shit worse. The longer you delay, the more worser shit's going to be. I know that truth. I have discovered that truth. You know? Ain't no fucking denying that shit. When is the journey down Steelmanville Road? I don't know. Whenever Scotty stops being a little pussy. Who's holding it up? Scotty. Me and Paul have been raring to go. Scotty's the one you gotta talk to. Scotty's the one you gotta harass. Yeah. Well, this thing is, you put it off... I did. I had a put it off moment. I was told a year ago, TJ, you got a cavity, brah. And I was like, eh, fuck that shit. I'll get it taken care of later. And then I didn't. And then it became TJ. It went from TJ, you need a filling, to TJ, you need a crown, to TJ, you need a fucking root canal. So, you know, that's just how it fucking goes sometimes, you know? You hold off, boom, you need a fucking root canal. That's what I had done today. I didn't even I don't even know what a root canal is. I uh I tried to look it up before and I was like, this is just making me too scared. I don't I don't wanna know. I'll go in ignorant.
I've not watched the Vosh Charlie Kirk debate yet. I watched the first 20 minutes and then uh, I had other shit to do. My wife wanted to go get pizza, so I was like, all right. Pizza sounds better than watching two white dudes debate critical race theory, I guess. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, I'll just step aside. I will step aside. How's my mental health? Uh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, how are you supposed to bully Scotty when you don't stream? That's a good point. That's why we gotta get Scotty streaming so you can start harassing him about fucking, you know, turning up and doing the Steelmanville Road journey. <laughs> Honestly, the procedure itself wasn't too bad. You know what? The doctor did a good job. Um... But then he sent one of his little assistants in to clean up. And she just, like, fucked shit up. She was supposed to... All she was supposed to do is come in there and, like, scrape off some of the res residual fucking, um... You know, cement from the temporary crown. And, uh... And she just fucking was way too fucking crazy about it. And knocked... Fucking just tore the crown right off. Stupid bitch that she is. And then she had to reattach it, and she reattached it shitty and wrong. Thanks, Chelsea. And, uh, and then, you know, I was driving home. I knew the crown was on fucking jacked up. But I figured I could, it would at least last for a couple days till I could go get my fucking permanent crown. But the shit came out in the fucking car, like, a few minutes down the road. I went back, the fucking orthodontist, or sorry, endodontist was like, what the fuck happened? I was like, blame that bitch, bro. Your assistant fucked your shit up. And, uh, yeah. Then he had to do a bunch more sh extra shit. I had to sit down in the chair. I was not even that numb at that point anymore. So it fucking hurt. So if, if it wasn't for that stupid bitch, I'd have been 100% okay. But that dumb broad, fuck, fuck my mouth up. And by the way, if you happen to be that woman and you're, you're watching this now, don't take it personal. I'm just trying to be entertaining. I'm not actually, like, mad at you or whatever. I, I, I know you're probably just trying to do your, your job. But uh, you did mess up. You have to admit. We all mess up, right? I've messed up. You messed up. You fucked my shit up. And it, it made my day worse, so fuck you a little bit, at least. I'm not saying you're a bad person, but you gave me a bad day. Um, I don't know why I just suddenly became super paranoid, like maybe she'll see this. You never know. I'd be nervous to get surgery if it weren't, if I were a consciously atheist internet celebrity living in the deep south. Yeah, dude, true not, true that, true that, true that, true that. Hmm. You really think she's one of the 87 people? Man, you just cannot get a decent motherfucking grocery store mozzarella stick, can you? What? You done it? Bathroom. Oh my god, this is gonna be all night, isn't it? I'm just gonna add it to the thing. You know, I can just pin it.
There we go. Now it doesn't need to be in the title. Oh, you air fried them? Cool. I don't think it's anything to do with uh, the cooking method. The thing that just sucks about these, I don't know. I've never been, I've never found a mozzarella stick you could get from a fucking store that had the fucking cheese stretch. Well, there's a little bit, but that's a pretty pathetic fucking cheese stretch, you know? You go to a fucking real restaurant, get a mozzarella stick, that motherfucker's like, Whoa! That can go your fucking entire goddamn arm span, dude. the fuck is the pork roll dude i don't uh, i don't like crawfish so yeah i have heard lemon is good in a crawfish boil race to Louisiana, I know, right? Yeah, everyone here loves crawfish. Not me. Don't know why. Never did. Like shrimp. Like crab. Like catfish. Like redfish. I don't know. Never like crawfish, though. Chelsea's like, Louisiana is a disgrace. I always assume TJ is stoned as my seat. Yeah, dude. I wish I was always stoned. I should be more stoned than I am, to be honest with you. My beard's pretty impressive at this point, I feel like. I honestly, I don't know. The more I see, the more I go around the country and shit, the more I'm just like, whatever. Louisiana is a place like any other. It's got its failings, but it's basically like, whatever. The rest of America is not any fucking better, to be honest with you. <laughs> Some place like, well, this place has a better climate, or this place has this or that. I'm not saying there's nowhere better than Louisiana or some shit, but like... Most of this country ain't fucking substantially better in any significant fucking way. Most of this country is a shithole. Probably most of this planet. It's the worst ranked state in certain things. Is it the worst ranked state in being the origin of jazz music? Is it the worst ranked state in being a pioneer of the culinary arts? Canada sucks just as bad, you fucking Goddamn Catholic church controlled Indian children genocide and motherfuckers. Don't give me all this. Canada is all fucking good bullshit. You guys still suck the queen's cock over there. You don't have no room to talk. California is better than Louisiana. 
Except it's too fucking expensive for a person to live there. All that's behind it now. Well, all the fucking... Wait, every other state gets to fucking ride on its glory accomplishments of the past. This whole country does that. We landed on the moon. Yeah, 100 fucking years ago. Not 100, but you know. Uh. Yeah, you know. I'd rather live in Louisiana than like Wyoming or something, you know? At least Louisiana's cheap. It's really not though. That's a fucked up thing. For as shitty of a state as Louisiana is, it should be cheaper than it is. It's actually not that cheap for being as shitty as it fucking is. It puts on airs. It thinks it's better than it fucking is. We, we need to do something as a state. We need to come up with some reason for people to actually like Louisiana. I guess we could just like try to like fix our infrastructure and Medicare system and shit, but nah, that ain't us. I think we need to figure out something else. I think we need to like, maybe Louisiana can be the first state to actually do the purge, you know what I mean? All right, it's September 12th. You know what that means. Purge day, bitch. It's time for the motherfucking purge, baby. On a scale from zero to Kevin Spacey, how innocent is Andrew Cuomo? Um, what's just before Kevin Spacey? On the scale, like, does it like? Is it like? I was basically like Kevin Spacey's like the ten, or is he the like the eleven? Oh, yeah, maybe we could be the first state to totally legalize, like, toplessness. Or, like, nudity in general. Like, the come on down to Louisiana, the nudity state. Don't feel like putting pants on? No problem. Hang out with your wang out. Flop them titties out. Louisiana is not the most pro-life state. Louisiana is the most anti-women having reproductive rights state, but they're certainly not the most pro-life state. A pro-life state would, like, try to help people not die and, like, help them live their lives to the fullest. Louisiana, don't do that. Cool thing about Kevin Spacey is all of his accusers just, like, mysteriously died. <laughs> He's just like... He would like, he'd come on YouTube and be like, he'd talk like fucking um, Frank Underwood and be like, it's time for me to kill my enemies with kindness. And then his enemies actually dead the next day. It's like, whoa, Kevin Spacey is fucking, I mean, you know, he's evil, but like, you got to respect that, right? That's like the kind of evil, like that's like a super villain-esque level of evil where you got to be like, damn, okay, props. I feel like legalizing nudity would just lead to a rise in sexual assault. Hey, man. Can't fucking make an om omelet without breaking a few <laughs> eggs. You know what I mean? Sometimes you got to pay the price of freedom. What'd you say to me, baby? What you said? I agree with Brandon. What'd Brandon say? He said that my soul is too bright to reside in Louisiana. Fly and be free. <laughs> I thought the uh, we were watching Ozark. Ozark. There's this scene where uh, she's going through the local radio station. I knew when I saw that scene, <laughs> I was like, "Oh man, Chelsea would love this scene" because she fell asleep the first time I saw it. <laughs> so I had to go back and rewatch it, but yeah, and like everything is like country music. The next station is a preacher. Next station is just fucking redneck, I don't know, bullshit. More religion country. Shit. Yeah. Religion, country music. Religion, country music, redneck. 
<laughs> she's just like, I need to, I'm going to fucking kill myself. She just turned it off and said, I'm going to fucking kill myself. I was like, yeah, <laughs> I don't listen to the radio here at all. We're listening. We know we, uh, we just started watching Ozark. We don't know nothing. We won't, we only saw season one. So yeah, far. we just started. I thought it was gonna be like a real downer show, but honestly, I laugh it's my not. ass off all the time. It's actually pretty fucking funny. Oh my gosh. I, n- I never would have got that from any of the trailers and shit I watched. I thought it was like super serious drama e show, but it's like actually like super funny and full of comedic moments. So I had the total wrong impression of like what kind of experience that show was gonna be. What a blast. Yeah, the main guy, Marty, is like really fun. Yeah, dude. Jason Bateman. Uh, I think he also directs a bunch <laughs> of the episodes. He's awesome. You know, another dude who has a fucking really good show is... Um, I can't remember his fucking name at the top of my head, but um, Barry. That show Barry is fucking awesome. Oh, what is that guy's name? I can't remember. It's been like two years since they did a season. I think he got fucked up by the pandemic or whatever. Yeah. But that show he does is fucking pretty cool there's some great writing on that show um yeah that's a really good one but that it's been like two years since that we had a season of that i think these shows are like magnificent honestly yeah shows are where it's at these days i get so wrapped up in it when i watch a movie i have to almost like watch shit from like long ago because that's when like movies were good but now shows are good so it's like whatever it's almost better in a way because it's just like a bigger block of shit you know I feel like a lot of the fucking movies I love should be remade as shows so you could go, like, way in depth, you know? Like, uh... I saw today is actually the 33rd anniversary of The Blob. The, well, the 80s one. So, uh, yeah, that one, that should be, like, a a show. There should be a Blob show, for sure. TJ, can you please F my A? Nope, but I could take your $5. Ching! Mine. Just for five dollars? That's a cheap F. Oh yeah, that dude was an arrested development, huh? Yeah, that was the first thing I recognized him from. Yeah, I never watched that shit because I, I hate really comedy didn't shows. either, but I still have seen a couple. I don't like comedy shows really. I don't like comedy movies that much, usually either. Bill like, Hader. Yeah, Bill Hader, dude. <laughs> it just came to me. Yeah. Someone said it like forever ago. Oh, I wasn't. But I didn't even. That. I didn't even see it. <laughs> I watched Hot Rod have you, recently. Have you seen that? Uh huh. I think I don't think you'd like it, but I, I really it. doubt it. <laughs> I've always liked that movie. It's so fucking stupid, but I I like it. I don't know. I think it's funny. But he's in that. <laughs> Bill Hader. Yeah, is he? Yeah, he's pretty funny in it. Honestly. He takes like a ton of acid and then like injures himself by trying to like use some kind of chainsaw or something. <laughs> but he's so chill about it because he's tripping. It's my thoughts on the Marvel movies. I mean, there's like some good ones and some bad ones. You know, I don't know. It's like a mixed bag. Just like Martin Luther King. I miss movies Apparently. like Hot Rod, for sure. I'm making a reference to uh, Charlie Kirk. I have not watched it, but I did hear that memed about. It's actually true that Martin Luther King was a mixed bag, though. Like, he was a plagiarist, for sure. We covered that on our show. Yeah. He definitely fucking cheated on his wife. I mean, like, as a fucking social force, he wasn't a mixed bag. He was pretty much entirely good from there, but... I guess on like a personal moral level, you could say he was some, kind of a mixed bag. I've also heard some allegations that he was like abusive. Yeah, maybe to lovers that he had, but who really knows? He was under a lot of goddamn stress. You know what I mean? I don't know. I just came yeah. home drunk from the rally. Like no one's perfect, obviously. He's like, I have a dream that you fucking have a fucking dinner on the table. Bam. Yeah. It's like, oh shit. My name it's King ain't just my name, bitch. I'm the king of my castle too. Malcolm X was the solid bag. Who isn't a mixed bag? You, movie man, 175. You're not a mixed bag. You're 100 percent solid gold.
Yeah, I mean, fucking A, right? I feel like Martin Luther King, to have accomplished what he did, almost had to be religious. Like, I'm not saying it was a grip for him or anything. I do believe he was actually religious, but... Like, there's no way he could have accomplished everything he did at the time he did without it being, like, conservative and Christian. Yeah, if he was like, I'm an atheist out, (laughs) y'all. No freaking way. He'd be like, eh, we'll just stay oppressed rather than follow a fucking atheist. Not only for, like, the southern, like, white conservative Christian side, but also for the, the black people that followed him. I mean, that community especially at the time, was super religious. I think they still are, aren't they? Yeah. I hate Marvel movie quips and wisecracks. Hate them. Why? I feel like it brings a little levity to the fucking yeah, I li- material. That's what I like about it. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it keeps you from taking shit too fucking seriously, right? Whatever. Was there any in Black Widow? I don't know. It was like hard to pay attention to. <laughs> it was so hard to pay attention to that movie. I mean, I feel like I probably would have been able to pay more attention to it if I didn't see it at a drive-in. But like at a drive-in movie theater, the atmosphere is so much like more palpable and shit that it's like harder to pay attention to a shitty movie. So like I really didn't give a fuck that Black Widow was playing. I was just like looking at the moon and looking at the cars. And it looking was at so the fucking cool. S- s- stars and just experiencing the night air and shit and just like soaking in the vibe of the place. That Black Widow kind of became like some distant bullshit that I didn't even care about. Uh, then Cruella played, and I was like way more into that. I was like, oh, wow, this one's like a real movie. <laughs> Marvel movies are afraid to take themselves seriously, so they quip. I don't really feel like that's why. I feel like they do that to like keep it light and fun, like a fucking comic book. I don't know. Not that all comic books have to be light, but. You know, that's kind of like the thing you're, you you expect in, like, a superhero comic. You don't expect, like, I want this to be a miserable slog into the human psyche or some shit. You know? Uh. That movie sucked, okay? Black Widow fucking sucked. And all these good yeah, reviews are so fucking so fake. Like, these are just so bought and paid for and shit. Or just, like... Either that or they're just bowing to, like, social pressure. Like, it's a strong woman, so it's good. It's like, no, that's not enough, guys. That doesn't that doesn't make the movie good. It doesn't make it bad. It doesn't make it fucking good either. You guys are just like... Such a fucking excuse to be lazy. It's just a garbage-ass movie. And, like, the fact that anyone gives a... Pos- I mean, I'm sorry. It's not just a matter of opinion. That movie sucks. Nobody liked it that we were with. Not yeah. a single person. And if I do meet anyone that likes it, they're going to have to fucking justify the fuck out of it to me because it's not good. And you know what? It's not the first time I've walked out of a Marvel movie feeling like it was a piece of shit and everyone else was pretending it was good. Civil War was not good. No. Civil War fucking sucked ass. Winter Soldier fucking sucked ass. These are not good fucking films, okay? But I, there are I, there's some Marvel movies I really do like. Like... Fucking Guardians uh, is fucking good. One and two. One more so. Fucking, uh... The first Iron Man is fucking great. That's a fucking fun movie. I thought uh, Thor Ragnarok was a pretty fucking good one. I feel like the was- whole Iron Man trilogy is pretty good. I know it gets, like, really... First Avengers is good. Kind of uh, shitty at the end, but I don't know. I just like the story. Infinity War was good. End, end game was good. Oh, yeah. Both of those are just like. Yeah, those are dope. So good. Black, Pan- Black Panther. I, I thought it sucked at first, but I've kind of like come around to like being like, it's okay. What's your thoughts on the Chris Chan situation? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. When Chris Chan actually has like has done something that actually, like, affects society, I'll give a shit then. Like, when Chris Chan is responsible for, like, poverty or me not having health care or something, then we could talk. Two mental... Like, a mentally ill person doing mentally ill person shit? Um, yeah, I don't care. Uh... 
Civil War is okay. Um, eh, I, I guess I could. Whatever. If you if you said it was good, I'd get after you. But if you just if you're just like, eh, I, I was a decent popcorn movie. It distracted me for a few hours. I'll I, I'll give you that. Whatever. I can feel that. Sure. Sure. It personally didn't work for me, but hey, rock on. We should finish our uh, Marvel movie marathon. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. Please. The lesson here is not to bang your mom. If he even fucking really did. Um, or her or whatever. Fucking who gives a shit. Um, had creative fights that save. Yeah, I will say the airport fight was kind of cool, but it seems so low stakes. Like, I don't know if you're going to fucking push a movie as like civil war. I want to see these heroes really trying to fuck each other up. Seemed like real punch pulley kind of shit. The only time that it really felt like they were really trying to fuck each other up was when Captain America and fucking Iron Man fought at the end. What'd they do? What'd they do? What'd they do? They tried to tell us what to talk about. Oh yeah. Fuck them. You don't tell us what to talk about. Yeah. we. This talk is TJ's show. Yeah. This is the TJ show, bitch. Yeah, I really thought that Iron Man and Captain America's roles in that, you know, conflict really did not make sense to me. You're too dismissive of French cinema. French cinema is too dismissive of being entertaining. Like, if French people, like, actually gave a fuck about making a movie that is like fun to watch, then I'd watch their shit. But they're way more concerned with like seeming like deep and interesting and like provocative, which that's all, it's good to be all those things. But like, you also have to remember the first fucking rule of a movie is that it should entertain people. The second it stops being entertaining, it's just garbage. You're up your own ass at that point. Uh, which Charlie Kaufman movie would you prefer, Being John Malkovich or Adaptation, starring Nick Cage? Uh, Being John Malkovich is like, I love that movie. I thought it was super fucking interesting. I showed it to my dad and Scotty, thinking they would love it like I did, and they both fucking hated it and thought it sucked. I was super disappointed, but whatever. They're just not on my level. Do you need anything, baby? Uh, what's that? Do you need anything, baby? Like what? You could reload the drinks in the fridge. Okay. If you're looking for something to do other than be here. You can stay here, though, if you want. Okay. Love, Love you, baby. Let's shoot you. What are you asking me? Have I seen what now? Winter Soldier? I mean, whatever. I might be thinking of a different one. I actually think I did like Winter Soldier now that I think about it. <laughs> Maybe? I can't remember if I liked Winter Soldier or not. I'd have to go rewatch it. Uh. Hot take. There are some, but not many, excellent modern Simpsons episodes. Okay, well, you know what? Um, send me, send me what they are. I'll, I'll go check them. I got Disney fucking plus. So I'll check out the good ones then. Rancid Bunny gave me money. Thank you, Rancid Bunny. You're a sweet fucking person. You're very nice. And I appreciate your fucking financial support of my fucking fat degenerate ass. I cannot overstate. I think Bucky is probably the worst Marvel character. Can I just put that out there? Like, I don't think there is a worse Marvel character than fucking Bucky, dude. I don't think it gets much worse.
Even hotter take. The Simpsons was never all that good. Ugh. I almost want to take your wrench away for that fucking garbage ass sentiment, but whatever. I suppose I'll let you have your opinion. But that's dumb. What about Hawkeye? What about Hawkeye? What about Hawkeye? What about Hawkeye? What now? What now? What? what? Oh, Hawkeye's the worst character? No, no way. Bucky's worse than that. Bucky beat Thanos in the comics. TJ don't even know. I don't even want to know. This music, yeah, well, White Bat Audio uh, makes these copyright free music things, but um, I will be honest, no insult to the guy whatsoever, but most of his tracks are just like reworks of existent music. But hey, rock on, he's cool. I love the fact that he does it because it means that he has some really iconic sounding shit, but it basically all is just bastardizations of existent works. But hey, I don't give a fuck. I'd play the fucking real shit if I could, but they won't let me. Bucky, more like sucky. If you haven't seen it, watch Steven Crowder's Nightmare by Amon Animations or other videos by this dude. The attention to detail is... Yeah, I've uh, I've been a fan of Amon Animations ever since the um, Ben Shapiro pones cancer patient with facts and logic or whatever the fuck. Which is still my favorite one, by the way. Uh, but yeah, I've watched all of his shit since then, so... I'm actually a, I don't want to say I'm a huge fan, but I'm a big fan. Yeah, I've seen Loki. Loki. Suck on them motherfucking titties. Digimon, digital monsters, Digimon are the champions. Um, yeah, Jordan Peterson won. That's probably his most viciously deconstructing. <laughs> it's fucking funny as fuck, bro. That dude's animations are dope. He's cool. I give him the official TJ stamp of pretty cool. Know me? This is like a weird sampler video. I'm going to move to the next one. Doctor Strange is my favorite Marvel character. Sure, 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 sure. Sure, 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 See if any news has happened since my news show earlier today. It's like all the news is the same news from earlier. At least here, maybe on Reddit it's not. Let's see what we got here. What's going on? Any interesting news in the world? No, all the same shit. Nothing happened. 
nothing happened since our show. It's all a bunch of fucking hooey, you ask me. Bunch of fucking goddamn hooey. It's all a bunch of fucking hooey. It's all a bunch of bullshit. Hooey, goddammit. You know what this is? Do you know what the fuck this is? Yeah, Streamlabs should be up. Let's see. Let me fucking check. Yeah. Damn you to hell. Streamlabs. Yes. Streamlabs should be active. I don't see why not. Let's see. All widgets. Uh, I need to fucking redo this shit one of these days. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. It works. That's not a real one. That's a test one. It says that. You guys know. Down, 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 It's pretty scary. The test, uh, the test just selects a random amount. I don't think it's, uh, Anything other than just completely randomized, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I don't pick whatever it says. Oh, here's that clip I was looking for earlier. I can fucking... Put it up here. Let's see if I can share it. Uh, go uh, here. Yeah. All right, I guess we could get rid of the how can you die when you're dead quote. I feel like it had its moment of memory. Pause this for a second. Let's take a look at what's going on here with Marjorie Taylor Greene. No, we can't do it. Is that not in the cards for us at the moment? Suggests shooting vaccinators if indeed people start coming door to door offering vaccines. This is a sitting member of Congress. This is video provided exclusively to us. Take a look at this. Take a listen to this. And one more thing on that. You lucky people here in Alabama might get a knock on your door because I hear Alabama might be one of the most unvaccinated states in the nation. <laughs> Guys, they're cheering for being unvaccinated. They're cheering for being unvaccinated. They're yeah, they're retarded. What do you want? <laughs> That's what they do. They're cheering because they haven't been vaccinated. Yeah. I wish I was as naive and innocent as David Pakman where I could like be surprised by that and being like, wow, guys, look, they're cheering for being unvaccinated. They're cheering for it. They're cheering for being unvaccinated. It's like, yeah, they're idiots. That's what they do. Well, Joe Biden wants to come talk to you guys. Uh-oh. He's going to be sending one of his police state friends uh, to your front door. All of his door. damn so police we, I call state. Them nurses, you know, police state friends. I, I, I would call them nurses. The police uh, state your friends. Your address, your family members' names, your phone numbers, your cell phone numbers. Probably ask for your social security number and whether you've taken the vaccine or not. Yeah, well, what they don't know is in the South, we all love our Second Amendment rights. Woo! Can you imagine? And we're not real big on strangers showing up on our front door, are we? We're big. We ain't too keen on people coming knocking on our door. 
<laughs> we ain't too keen on them motherfuckers coming up, knocking on our door and saying nothing. You step one foot on my goddamn lawn. You step one, you make one little tippy toe across the line that separates my property from the public. I'll put a fucking bullet in you, boy. That there's that there carries a fucking death sentence, bitch. <laughs> what a fucking psycho. Big on our Second Amendment rights, and we're not big on strangers showing up at our front door. This is a sitting member of Congress joking about the idea. Jo I mean, is it a joke? I guess is the question. No, not really. No. Alluding to the idea of if people come around offering vaccines to keep us safe, to reduce the chance that we die, um, guns would be what are deployed against those individuals. A sitting member of Congress. So, wow. <laughs> Once again, envying the naivete of David Pakman. While that was going on, I uh, Andrew Walker sent 420 and said I should watch and react to what a yo meme diss video against you from last year. I only have I watched that video when it came out, and the only thing I have to say is that he took my my fucking video like a million miles out of context. All you have to do to see the refu to refute it is go watch the actual full length video that I did, and then go watch his, and you see there's a shit ton of like important context he leaves out. So that's it. Um, just a dishonest fuck. Uh. Pac-Man is annoying. I like David Pac-Man, all right. It's not really my cup of tea, but, uh, you know, whatever. Yeah, it's not even... You couldn't really call that thinly veiled... It's not veiled, you know what I mean? It's just like pretty much direct, like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking uh, shoot you. You come to try to save my life, I kill you. What do you want? I don't think he's being naive. I think he's just emphasizing how fucked it is. Well, it's like the words he chooses to use. He's like a sitting member of Congress. Just said, like, he's saying it like it should be a surprise to him or anyone at this point that that's what's going on like we're past the point where we're scandalized that a sitting member of congress is saying this shit like i don't know <laughs> i'm beyond going like oh <gasps> you know what i mean that shit happened in like 2006 or something i'd be like whoa that's fucking crazy we got people that fucking nuts in congress now but you know at this point like, like, whatever, man. I've known, we've been there for a while. Uh-huh. Didn't Pac-Man just interview the My Pillow guy? Really? Did that really happen? Hold up. How the fuck? Wait a minute. All right, today we're going to be speaking with... What the fuck? What? David Pakman interviewed the My Pillow guy, and that no one was talking about that. Everyone was talking about Vosh fucking arguing with stupid ass Charlie Kirk. But meanwhile, David Pakman interviewed the My Pillow guy and no one fucking said a goddamn word. Ridiculous. That's a more interesting fucking duo than me than than fucking Vosh and Charlie Kirk. IMO, to be honest with you. But whatever. I guess I don't know what's what. Son of a bitch. Makes me upset, man. Makes me upset that it took me fucking two or three days to hear about that. But what are you going to do?
just came out. No, it didn't. It came out on the third. I look. I just looked at it. It was from the fucking third, bro. <coughs> <coughs> Yeah, Void. Dude, Mike Lindell is fucking... Yeah, he's funny as fuck, dude. Mike Lindell, he's a funny man. You know. You know it, I know it. We all know it. Lindell is the political equivalent of a lol cow. Hold on one second. Man, I'm still pissed that they shut down canoes, bro. The fuck kind of bullshit is that? You know what I mean? I'm gonna fucking be canoes in fucking Vorball. Just to avenge canoes. The fallen fucking website. Back when shit was fucking good. I'll watch your, uh, I'll read your stream lab in a minute. Shouldn't take me too long to die. Fucking canoes, baby. Will I survive longer than the actual canoes? That's the real question. Be nice. Fuck you. Niceness is for fucking losers, baby. I don't even be nice. Fuck that shit. Fuck that goddamn bullshit. Motherfuckers, they appear super big. It makes sense. Motherfuckers don't know about my canoes, baby. Fuck all that shit. You see that big motherfucker? He coming. He coming. Oh, fuck. That ain't good. That ain't good, y'all. Oh, fucking Jesus God, no. No, Jesus God, no. God, Jesus, Lord, who is in heaven. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. No. No. This ain't right. This ain't right. Oh, it ain't right, baby. That shit ain't right, baby. Don't do it, motherfucker. Don't do it. No! Stabs you! You fucking prick ass bitch! Legend of Zelda fucking piece of shit, motherfucker, bro. Garbage. All right, what did that fucking shit say? Lupinex2 gave 660 said, you should watch Vinland Saga, TJ. You've neglected your weeb side for too long. I remember you uh, recommending Berserk and Bucky the Grappler back in the day. Yeah, it's been a long time since my week. Well, no, that's not true. You know, I've been watching B-Stars, bro. I'm watching B-Stars. So I don't need to watch no Vinland. Vinland Sage bullshit. I don't need that bullshit. I don't need that shit, bro. I don't need that shit. Yeah, these fucking Zelda fans, bro. Why are you guys talking about how I taste? What the fuck's going on? Chips Ahoy is great. That's true. Fucking furry confirmed. What? How's that furry confirmed? Plenty of people watch that fucking show, dude. I don't want to fuck... Ev I don't even want to fuck the rabbit in that. Even the rabbit is not hot. There's no one I want to fucking be stars, okay? So, furry unconfirmed. I watch it for the fucking interesting characters and fucking good plot, bro. And the social commentary. So, shut up. Fuck you. You're garbage. Uh, what's this? What's this shit? I was impressed with your reasoning when you decided not to do the Asian stereotype anymore, but I see that didn't last. Dude, I did not do an Asian stereotype. I did nondescript character of unknown ethnic origin today for uh, patrons, you know, so. I feel like it was in a situation where it was funny enough that it justified a brief resurrection. I haven't gone up. That was basically just me, like, going back on my principles for a second. I still stick to the principle that it's wrong to do that, but I did it anyway because it was fucking too funny, so whatever. See, I feel like the rabbit in Zootopia is pretty much just a rabbit. I feel like if you want to fuck the Zootopia rabbit, you pretty much just want to fuck rabbits at that point. Like, you should probably be barred from buying a rabbit. Lola Bunny is just a woman who kind of vaguely has some rabbit-esque features. And thus, you are not a furry for wanting to fuck Lola Bunny. We've gone over this whole thing before. You know, we don't have to fucking do that. You know what I mean? That's true, Skeptical Jesus. If you thought it sounded Asian, that means you are the racist, okay? If racism isn't funny, then anything that's funny, by definition, can't be racist. Whoa. You just blew my fucking mind, dog. Yeah, Lola's basically just a woman with a mascot head on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah, you're not a furry if you want to fuck Lola Bunny. Lola! You don't want to fuck Lola Bunny, you're just a, you're obsessed with her. What are you talking about? What are you fucking talking about, bro? If it has fur and you want to fuck it, then you're a furry. Well, that makes Chelsea a furry because she fucks me. And I have fur, so...
We've gone over how wrong you are at this furry shit before. No need to rehash that embarrassment. Whatever. That is fucking total nonsense. You've made no argument to the contrary, so... Like, whatevs, you know? You did three streams about Lola. You goddamn guys, man. How many times we gotta go over this shit? She's just not. She's just not a fucking furry. It's just the reality, bro. Lola ain't no motherfucking furry, bro. It's just like, okay. So every straight dude has at least one dude they'd fuck, right? We all agree on that. No matter how heterosexual you are, there is at least one dude you'd fuck. That doesn't make you not straight. Just means there's like the one little exception to the rule, right? And you know, similarly, Lola Bunny, man. Want to fuck Lola Bunny does not make you no goddamn furry. Being in love with Lola Bunny does not make you a furry. Wanting to be transported to the Space Jam universe so that you can fucking marry Lola Bunny and fucking, you know, have a bunch of mutant babies with her. Doesn't make you no fucking furry, dude. Sorry. Gotta draw that line. We all got the one, man. Every straight dude gets the one guy. Every non-furry dude gets the one fucking anthropomorphic fucking character. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's all good. That does not make you buy. No. Wanting to fuck one dude. So wait, if a straight dude, then there's no such thing as a straight dude. There's no such thing as a straight person then. Every, literally, like, literally every single person is bisexual then. This is Cope, TJ. Dude, your name is The Paul Freak Show. You have an entire account built around, like, a Paul fucking thing. So, like, come on. Like, you're a little Paul fucking obsessor, so you don't get to fucking talk about what's Cope with me. Go get yourself a fucking your own identity that's not piggybacking off of someone else's, and I'll maybe give half of a shit what you have to say. Every straight man likes to fuck at least one other man. You know, it's true. Projections, TJ. Straight people aren't attracted. A members of the opposite gender. So here we have someone in fucking complete goddamn denial or just totally disconnected from the truth of themselves. I don't buy it. Pedal that bullshit elsewhere. Pedal that bullshit everywhere. But not here. This ain't the place for it. Get your own personality, said the Marilyn Manson knockoff. <laughs> what? I don't even, I'm not even a singer. I'm literally a fucking streamer and YouTube video maker. I don't even work in the same medium. What are you fucking talking about? All right. Free rap beats. This is going to be a fucking slow one, though. Got to be slow. It's like this. What is this? Yeah. 
Uh huh. Yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm. I'm not. I'm. I can't freestyle. I'm too white. <clears throat> I'm just gonna do this though. Lola Bunny don't make you a furry dog. No. Lola Bunny is the exception to the rule. If you don't agree with me, then you are a fool. It's okay to smash that bunny puss because it's Lola and she's <laughs> something that rhymes with puss. Yeah, bitch. You know you want to tap that. I can't rap, but I can attack that with my penis in Lola Bunny's buns and I'm having fun and I ain't taking none of your bullshit about me being a furry because of it. I don't give a shit. I will smash that clit. Boom. Making Lola come, son. That's all I got. Sorry. <laughs> That's the kind of shit you need to fucking remember, bitch. You got to have that in your fucking head, bro. Dot from Animaniacs is hotter. That seems like a weird statement. I'm not touching that statement. You fucking have that statement. You own that. You go forward with that. I'm just here to fuck some Lola Bunny, bro. Boom. Boom. Sounds like some furry shite. Man, you motherfuckers, bro. You motherfuckers, bro. This has become full cringe. Anyone who says that is full cringe. Wait, I just said that. All right, I'm just going to time you out. <laughs> See, you want to get signed a Psychopathic Records. Yeah, bro. I'm as good a freestyler as ICP, so why not? Why the fuck not? I haven't watched you in a while, TJ. So what? The nuclear family unit is provably nothing but a social construct. Well, yeah. Duh. It's literally a, so, a, a social configuration. Uh, TJ, would you give these mumble rappers a run for their money? Yeah. I'm confused. Is TJ a furry or not? No, goddammit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, Jessica Rabbit is not, but that's she's not a rabbit. She just has rabbit in her name. Jessica Rabbit, Rabbit, Rabbit. Jessica Rabbit is a fucking full fledged human being. She's just a tune. She's a cartoon human. That doesn't make you a furry to want to fuck Jessica Rabbit. Not even the idiots who say that fucking wanting to fuck Jessica Rabbit makes you a furry would say that wanting to fuck, wait, Lola, Bunny. What, I'm confused now. Shut the fuck up. I like how you can call anything a fucking discourse now. That's kind of beautiful. Yeah. Lola Bunt... I'm not sorry. Lola... Jessica Rabbit, though, is fucking a cartoon rabbit. So does that make her a furry? Is Jessica Rabbit canonically a fucking furry? Yeah, you guys broke my fucking brain. Lola Bunny is her slave name. Hehehe. 
Anybody here who says they wouldn't fuck... I mean, if lo, if, fuck, if wanting to fuck Lola Bunny makes you a furry, then everyone here is a fucking furry. All right? There's not a single person in here. I don't care what your sexuality is. <clears throat> I don't care what your gender is. <clears throat> I don't care. Maybe you're even asexual. You would still fuck Lola Bunny. She's that damn hot. She's that goddamn hot. Bestiality... Because I want to fuck a cartoon rabbit that's not, that looks 99% like a fucking human. That's bestiality. Fuck off. You're the, Anybody who fucking jerked off to a Playboy Playmate is in a bestiality at that point. And also, you would fuck Lola Bunny, so you're a fucking... You're in a bestiality then. Fucking zoo porn looking at motherfucker. Get out of here. Um, how many Oreos can you eat in one sitting? All of them. Literally all of them, yeah. Every single one. On Earth. One sitting. Don't care. TJ is garbage and Scotty is king? What the fuck, bro? No. Don't fucking... That's a terrible screen name. That's the worst screen name. Motherfuckers, man. You motherfuckers are straight up motherfucking trizash, bitch. Don't, not even one of you motherfuckers knows what's what. Not one single one of you motherfuckers has any goddamn idea what's what. You know that? Hey, CJ, you ignored my previous statement, so I thought paying for it, you might acknowledge me. Uh, thoughts on arguments against other religions like neo-paganism or other stuff like that. What the fuck is neo-paganism? Hold on. Neo-paganism. All right, let's see. Oh, modern paganism, also known as contemporary paganism and neo-paganism, is a collective term for religious movements influenced by or derived from the various historical pagan beliefs of pre-modern peoples. Although they share similarities, contemporary pagan religious movements are diverse and do not share a single set of beliefs, practices, or texts. Most academics who study the phenomenon treat it uh, as a movement that is divided into different religions. Others characterize it as a single religion of which different pagan faiths or denominations. Adherents rely on pre-Christian folklore, uh, ethnographic sources to a uh, variety of degrees. Many, I mean, like, like there, it literally says here that, like, their religion is based on fucking folklore and stuff. So, like, they're literally talking about, like, tree spirits and, like, fairies and shit. So, I mean, like, yeah, the same <coughs> burden of proof that fucking crushes Christianity <laughs> also crushes that shit.
Yeah, I was reading Wikipedia. What do you think? God damn you. Neopaganism is when you read the horoscope section and own a dream character. Oh, dream catcher. Yeah. I have an issue with the name of pagan because that was a Christian word for not Christian. Oh, shit. We got some more money coming in. Money. Thoughts on the imprisonment of Lula that gave birth, sorry, that gave rise to the far right in Brazil. As a Brazilian American, I'm embarrassed Trump and Bolsonaro got elected. Also, can you react to Red Dress by Sarah Brand? It's the room of music videos. It's, it literally says video unavailable when I go to it, to the link you sent me. But thank you for the $5. Hold up. I'm trying to find this fucking guy's red dress by Sarah Brand. I'm going to have to, like, mute the volume. All right. It's supposed to be the room of music videos, huh? All right. Shut my music up for a second, and let's take a look at this. <clears throat> this is supposed to be some fucking awful shit, right? So I'm going to go ahead and mute the audio so that uh, only I can hear it. Wait. Okay, I muted it wrong. Only I can, st I still, okay, hold up. I can't even hear it. Okay, here we go. Red dress. Well, her voice is fucking awful. It's like really bad. Have I sped this up? No, that's normal. Okay. This is how I sing. I'm terrible at everything. This is my song. I sing it well. Hold on. I got to let you guys listen to it for just a second. Hold on. You got to hear like how this bitch is singing this. My own feels. Let someone else behind my wheel. Said it was love. Yeah. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with here. Wow, the lyrics are terrible, too. <sighs> Jesus. Damn. Ow. Ow. Bro. Bro, bro, bro. It's like the original version of this song doesn't exist, only the karaoke version. Yeah, it is like that. This is like a song. Yeah, she's like a, the karaoke version of her own song. Okay. Welp, that's enough of that for me. I'm good. I'm good on this. Thank you for subjecting me to that, I guess. Awesome stuff, bro. Oof. Yeah, I can't fucking, uh, I can't get with that. <laughs> Who told the woman she could sing? I don't fucking know, dude. Where am I, Red Jess? And I am a... <laughs> Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, it's polytoniality. It's art. Okay, I didn't realize that. I didn't realize. 
I didn't realize it was so artistic and shit, bro. I didn't realize the fucking how the depth of it. You know, I thought it was just like shallow bullshit, but it's like deep. Full of fucking metaphor and symbolism and fucking whatever else, you know? I guess I don't appreciate art. I failed at art appreciating. Social experiment with the song. I wouldn't be surprised. All toilets are art now. I wasn't even looking at the chat. I was reading a fucking article. Sorry. Um, this is what your life has come to. Thanks. Yeah. My life has come to sitting here getting money from people. It's so sad. This live chat has gone down. I mean, it's fucking 2.36 a.m. What do you want? Everyone who's up right now is fucking <laughs> probably tired. Is my phone on mute or is TJ being super quiet? I'm pretty sick of Agario, honestly. The Vorball thing, I'm over it. How do I cope with never getting a girlfriend because I'm under six foot? That's You fucking admit to yourself that that's bullshit. The first step is admitting to yourself that's bullshit. How tall am I? I'm about 6'6". Six, six. Hmm. Most men are under 6 foot. Yeah, it's not even like the average height of a dude is like 5'10 or something, isn't it? 5'11, something like that. So like, yeah, I don't know. Uh, TJ, will our generation be the last to live in a habitable earth, or do you think humanity could squeeze out another few centuries? Um, yeah, I think we could fucking probably make it a few more centuries or whatever. Maybe, like, another 100 years, 200 years. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe fucking science really will fix it, but right now we're on a fucking course towards fucking disaster and have been for quite some time. Not that we ever really had all that great, so. I 
I'm watching this in a Walgreens factory. Weird. Who the fuck is Tyler Maine? That dude looks cool. See, he's better at being fucking 6'6 six, six than I am because he looks cool. He looks fierce and stuff, man. I just look like a fucking dork. Yeah, what the fuck does Walgreens have a factory for? Doesn't even make sense. Or they make it a Walgreens factory. I don't fucking add up. This guy's a lying fucking cocksucker. I work in a mortuary, held my first baby corpse today. Dope. She's like a Confederate general or Karl Marx. Dope. We've had two dope comments in a row. What's next? TJ, what is the best candy bar? That's not a dope comment. You have fucking broken the dope comment streak. You son of a bitch. I don't know. Fucking Milky Way, I guess. Is TJ beating his meat? Nope. I have one hand on my mouse. I have one hand just fiddling with this mic. So, nope. No meat being beat at the moment. <clears throat> That's a weird flex to share on YouTube. What is? That I'm not beating my meat? really wasn't trying to flex. I was just trying to correct the record. Some people say it's not enough time, or that's too much time. These people are idiots, or whatever I said. You look like Va Vosh after a war. Yeah. I'm post-war Vosh, dude. That's me. I wish I had his deep voice. Maybe I should just start mimicking it. I talk like this. I talk in a very deliberate manner so that I gain more respect. Indubitably. <laughs> Can't say indubitably. That's like a stupid person's idea of a smart person's word, thanks to Sherlock Holmes. Actually, he never said that in the fucking book, but uh, I don't know. One of the versions fucking... Pinned it on him. Vosh is really not that fat. I don't know where this idea of, like, fat Vosh comes from. Because, like, the dude's, like, a little chubby, but he ain't fat. Yeah. 
Yeah. My eyeballs are losing weight. Goddamn scrawny ass eyeballs. Get your eyeballs in shape, you motherfucker. You need muscular eyeballs. Eyeballs that can fucking lift. Hey, baby. Give me an ice cream sandwich, huh? Baby girl, bring, bring me an ice cream sandwich, huh? Burial is a scam, TJ. Take it from mortician. It's crazy expensive. More than it needs to be. You mean it's not thousands of dollars to dig a hole and throw someone in it? Holy shit. I can't believe it. Shocking. Absolutely devastatingly shocking, I say. You yawned. You're going to make me yawn. <laughs> Give me that fucking ice cream. Why is it so fucking hot in here, baby? Cool it down in here. Love you, too. What you up to? What? I'm getting tired. Okie dokie, artichokey. Yeah. There is. Oh, that's because I muted it. Oopsie. Yeah, I muted it when I was watching that terrible music video. I guess I forgot to unmute it. But I've been playing it. So it's been for my benefit, I guess. So, oops. Oh, maybe turn that fan on. Yeah, I'll do it later because only I can reach the string to turn the light off. Damn it. What are you asking me, motherfucker? Hey, TJ, can you please ask Kanye to release that new album? Dude, whatever. Kanye will release it when he's ready. Kanye West is always fucking doing that with his albums. I don't know why anyone actually thinks this album is ever going to come out on the day he says. You know it's not going to. It's fucking don't even get your hopes up. Hmm. That's just the red light reflecting from that light over there. Nicki Minaj, man. Nicki motherfucking Minaj. I remember people were circulating that photo of like 
look how fake that ass is. Look at this horrible picture from this angle. And I was just like, God damn. That's a big old fat fake ass. <laughs> Give me some of that. But it looks horrible from this angle. No, it don't. Not to me, it don't. Give me that. When the fuck was Kanye ever not a dumbass, though? Is there a point where an ass is too fat? Um, I don't know. I'll let you know if I ever see such a thing. But I ain't seen it yet, man. I ain't yet to see the ass too big, bro. Ain't no such thing as ass too big, bro. You fucking stupid, bro. You fucking stupid. You guys are starting to annoy me. You guys are starting to piss me right the fuck off. Let's see if we can find a BuzzFeed quiz. Those are fun. Well, they take up some time anyway. Uh, my ice cream quiz. Yeah, I just ate some ice cream. That seems appropriate, right? All right. It's going to be really hard, but find out how your ice cream choices stack up with everyone else's. Let's find out if the people are right or wrong. Best classic flavor. Okay. So, strawberry ain't even a fucking contender. That's just like an afterthought. It's down to chocolate and vanilla, right? So, you have a really good vanilla. That shit can be fucking amazing. No one can deny that. But at the end of the day, chocolate's the best. Fuck you. See? See, I told you strawberry's not even a contender. So you got 46% of people that are stupid and make the wrong choice. And then you got 42% of people that actually know what the fuck they're talking about and recognize the inherent superiority of chocolate to fucking vanilla. I mean, vanilla is called vanilla for a fucking reason, okay? All right, so here's the real fucking flavors. Okay. Of the shit we got here, mint chocolate chip, bro. Respectable showing at third place, but it's definitely better. It's better than chocolate chip cookie dough because there's never enough cookie dough in that. And it's better than cookies and cream because, like, I don't know. Cookies and cream is just vanilla with a fucking dash of some other. Mint chocolate chip, that's a whole other fucking level of shit, bro. What is the best ice cream brand of these? I mean, so, if you want a bunch of shit in your ice cream, Ben and Jerry's. If you want the creamiest motherfucking ice cream, Blue Bell. None of these other brands are in contention. At the end of the day, Blue Bell is pound for pound a better ice cream. See? This 6% shit, that's just because all these people ain't never been to somewhere where they actually got Blue Bell. Hagen dazs is, like, not even close. Ben & Jerry's, though, is respectable. Ben & Jerry's is actually second place. I can understand why people think it's first because they just have not been exposed to the bluebell fucking goodness. You know what I mean? What's the best topping? None. You don't need no fucking topping. Skipping that one. How often do you eat ice cream? Ooh, okay. Uh, mm, probably... I mean, some weeks it's like every day, but other times, I would say on average, like once a week. Once a month. Fucking, what are you, a fucking ascetic living in a cave? Um, What's the best version? Wait, what is the best version of ice cream? Oh, okay. It's like the way to serve it. In a cone, bitch. You fucking joking me? No, I mean, if, if you fucking, you're so stupid, bitch. Bitch. Motherfucker, man. That's some goddamn horse shit, man. Okay, what's next? 
Um, what would you do in these nine awkward money situations? Okay. Your friend Michael asked to borrow $100 because he's in a jam. He promises to pay you back next week, and you have some cash to spare at the moment. But you know he can be unreliable sometimes. What do you do? Um, none of these. I give him the money, but if he doesn't pay me back, I fucking beat the shit out of him. Unless he's tougher than me, in which case I just give him the money. Um, an old friend asks you to be at their wedding party and you accept. But once you talk to them more, you learn they want you to spend thousands of dollars on travel, clothing, and other way regular events. What would you do? I ain't going to that shit. Fuck you then. You and your roommate agreed to uh, get your own groceries. It worked out at first. Hey, thanks, shitty economist, for your 10 bucks. This don't let you fucking answer the legit answer, so this fucking sucks ass. All right, what's next? I highly doubt you know the 15 capitals of 50 European countries. You're right, I don't. Um, how many Julia Roberts movies have I seen? Fuck, I don't know. I've seen Pretty Woman. I've seen Aaron Brockovich. Um, I've seen My Best Friend's Wedding. I have seen Runaway Bride. I have seen Ocean's Eleven. I have seen um, Ocean's 12. I have seen Hook. I've seen Steel Magnolias. I've seen The Mexican. Um, I have seen, nope. Yeah, I've seen Conspiracy Theory. Um, I have seen, um, have I seen any of these other ones? Uh, no. There's two! You checked more than 41% of quiz takers, huh? I've seen 10. I've seen more Julia Roberts movies than I thought I had. Interesting to know. I learned something today. Aaron Brockovich is my favorite one. But I don't really like many of them. I don't know why I've seen so many. Uh, spend a day in Tokyo and we'll tell you which random Olympic sport. No, don't care about that. Um, six travel bucket list. What? I don't, what? What is this? Your six city travel bucket list will reveal your Hogwarts house. Who gives a shit? Design a cute house. No. YouTubers were mega popular a decade ago. No. Parent trap, no. State capitals, okay. This might be fun. Um, Sacramento, that's California, that's easy. Boise, that's Idaho. Oklahoma City, it's Oklahoma, right? Right? Okay, <laughs> thank God. Uh, which state is Albany? Yeah, uh, New York. Juneau, that's Alaska. Tallahassee, that's um, Tennessee? No, Florida, okay, sorry. Uh, Phoenix, that's um, Arizona. Uh, Trenton, ooh, I don't know. Trenton, Virginia? No, New Jersey, okay. Uh, which state is Indianapolis? Um, Indianapolis, uh, Indiana, that's here. Salem, uh, Massachusetts, wait, no, it would zoom in if it was Massachusetts, right? No, Salem, Oregon, okay. I thought fucking Eugene was the capital of Oregon, whatever. Little Rock, that's, uh, Arkansas. Denver, that's fucking Colorado. Dover, um, is that Pennsylvania? Delaware, damn. Topeka, that's fucking Kansas. Honolulu is Hawaii. Jackson, that's Mississippi. Boston, that's uh, Massachusetts, right? Uh, Hartford, uh, Connecticut. Where's Connecticut? CT? Yeah. Uh, Atlanta. Wait. Yeah, it's Georgia. Uh, Raleigh. North Carolina? 
Springfield. Um, mm, uh, South Carolina. I don't fucking know. Uh, Helena. Um, Montana? Yeah. Harrisburg. Um... I'm just going to go South Carolina again. No. Okay. Cheyenne. Um, Wyoming, right? Yeah. Concord. Um, I don't know. Rhode Island? I don't fucking know. Uh, Des Moines. That's Iowa. Yeah, St. Paul. I have no fucking idea. Minnesota, why not? What? I was right? Yeah, I knew that. I knew it. Santa Fe, that's New Mexico. Providence is, that's Rhode Island. Uh, Frankfurt, that's the capital of Kentucky. Madison, that's, I want to say it's Virginia. No, Wisconsin. Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Augusta, no idea. Um, Maine, okay, I got it right. Uh, Bismarck, ooh, I have no fucking clue. Um, Wisconsin? No, okay. Richmond, that's Virginia. Uh, Baton Rouge, that's my state. Salt Lake City is Utah. Pierre, no fucking idea. Um, Michigan, no, it's not Michigan. Uh, Annapolis. Oh, that one's South Dakota. Um, Annapolis, Maryland, right? That's... Wait. Uh, that's Massachusetts. That's... MD is Maryland, right? That goes there. Okay, cool. Lincoln, Nebraska. Um, that's here. Montpelier. Um... This is the region of the country with which I have the least familiarity. Um, uh, Vermont, okay. Lansing, that's Michigan, yeah. <laughs> Olympia, that's Washington. Um, Jefferson City, no fucking clue. Um, what haven't we done yet? Uh, this one? No, we already did that one, fuck. Missouri, really? Not St. Louis, okay. Carson City, that's uh. Fuck, Carson City, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... Utah? Okay, I tried to click Utah, but I guess I was close enough to Nevada that it gave it to me. So yeah, dope. Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, Columbia. Um, ah, fuck, I don't know. This one. That one was South Carolina. I tried that one on a few ones. Charleston. Charleston. Gave it to me again because I just clicked in the general area, dude. Um, apparently it was West Virginia, by the way. Nashville, that's Tennessee, right? That's the only place I know of that there's a fucking Nashville. Austin is Texas. And finally, Montgomery. That's Alabama, right? Yeah. I passed 37 out of 50. Uh, you successfully matched at least 50% of the capitals or corresponding states. I'll be honest. I'm pretty impressed. Way to go. Thank you. Thank you, test. I knew 37 out of 50 capitals. Actually, I got lucky with a few, so whatever. The European one? I ain't doing that. Oh, that's going to be a fucking fail boat. I ain't fucking with that shit.
Poor unfortunate souls. So sad. So true. Uh, let's see. What is this happening? What happened? The director of Friday the 13th, part six, Jason Lives, has written a script titled Jason Never Dies with an all-female cast taking place at Crystal Lake during the wintertime. I love the idea, but he wants to ignore every pat film past six. It should all be canon. I mean, who cares? Like, I don't really, like, do we really need to protect the Friday the 13th canon? I mean, like... So much has been, like, retconned already and changed. Like, you can't even... Like, the the, the existent films don't even make sense with each other. So, like, who cares? But honestly, that concept sounds stupid. So, whatever. And I feel like whoever, that guy, that director, is probably, like, way past his prime by now. So... And, like, this all... It's all women. That's, like, whatever. I'm done with it. I'm not with it. <laughs> Halloween did that just fine. The retcon shit, yeah. Jason killing in the snow sounds cool and different, though. I mean, that seems like a pretty superficial change to refresh the flagging franchise. What if he killed in the snow? It's like, eh. I don't know. I feel like you need to go a little bit more. I mean, he killed in space, you know? Space didn't fix it. I don't think snow is going to fix it. Yeah, besides, if you made a sequel directly to part six, you retcon the best one. The New Blood, dude. Friday the 13th, The New Blood is easily the best fucking in the series. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care who disagrees with me or how vehemently. That's the best one. So. Sucka my dicka. Jerry Maguire is a movie that you know, people watch it and they either get why it's like got the status it does or they just don't. Like that seems to be a very divisive movie for some reason. Everyone I know that watches it either is like, wow, Jerry Maguire, that's a good fucking movie. You're like, man, Jerry Maguire fucking, that's a shit ball movie. I never see anyone be like, Jerry Maguire is okay. It's always like, I hate it. I love it. As time goes on, it's more and more people that are like, I ain't heard of that. But I remember, I'm old enough to remember the time when Jerry Maguire was a fucking vital part of the zeitgeist. And uh, yeah, people were kind of like divi divided on it. It was a love it or hate it kind of movie. You think The Force Awakens still works as a standalone movie? Kind of. Ice19278 with a really cool profile pick gave $20 and left a black heart. No doubt symbolizing the, the dark heart of evil that beats within my wicked chest. Thank you so much, Ice19278. You are a scholar. You don't get that one, baby. The Jerry Maguire. Do 
Yeah, I don't know. You gotta go hard if you want to win. You gotta go hard if you want to win. You gotta go hard if you want to win. Because if you don't go hard, you just can't fucking win, you piece of shit. You idiot piece of garbage shit. You will not win if you do not go hard, you stupid motherfucking piece of garbage. You're a garbage bitch. And you suck a fucking ass. Because you don't understand what's good. Motherfucking asshole piece of fucking trash. Boom. I don't even know no more, man. It's all a bunch of trash. No, no one fucking knows what's good anymore, you guys. Don't no one fucking know what's good no more. Ugh, you don't fucking know, you guys. You fucking pieces of shit. You asshole motherfuckers, bro. You are my fire, the one desire. Believe when I say I want it that way. <laughs> Two worlds apart, can't reach. I was too early on that. To your heart. When you say that I want it that way Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake Tell me why, tell me why you fucking piece of shit Wanna hear you say I want it that way Am I your fire, your one desire. Yes, I know it's too late, but I want it that way. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why nothing but a mistake. Tell me why. I never want to hear you say I want it that way Now I can see that we're falling apart From the way that it used to be Yeah No matter the distance I want you to know That deep down inside of me Is a big butt plug You are my fire, the one desire, you are. You are? You are? Seriously, you are. Don't want to hear you. Ain't nothing but a heartache. Ain't nothing but a mistake. Never wanna hear you say. I don't remember them saying that in the song. I want it that way. Tell me why ain't nothing but a heartache. Tell me why ain't nothing but a mistake. Tell me why I never want to hear you say. I want it that way. Tell me why. Tell me why, you fucking bitch. God damn it. I think you owe me an explanation. Just tell me why. 
I never want to hear you say I want it that way Cause I want it that way Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your special feelings with me. Thanks, Ice. One, nine, two, seven, eight. Fire, fire, fire. That was for you. For your generous $20. Thank you so kindly. Um, tell me fucking why. Ain't nothing but a heart. Ain't nothing but a mistake. I want it that way. We can go fucking, we can go fucking, more, we, fuck you. Fuck you guys, bro. Let's do this shit. Fuck you motherfuckers, bitch. Ahem. <clears throat> huh. <laughs> it's sad. It's a sad song, y'all. And I'd give up forever to touch you. Cause I know that you feel me somehow. You're the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. And I don't want to go home right now. And all I can taste is this moment delicious and all i can breathe is your life when sooner or later it's over i just want you to wait that's not right miss you tonight and i don't think the world can see me because i don't think that they'd understand when everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am. I missed it. Tears that ain't coming or the moment of truth in your lies. When everything feels like the movies Yeah, you bleed just to know you're alive And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that they'd understand When everything's made to be broken I just want you to know who I am Oh. Okay, crunch. Crunch, you guys. It's so crunch. This Sam? Is Sam singing the song? What's wrong with him? It's so fucking crazy! You just can't handle the emotion of the moment. You gotta get in touch with your feelings. And I don't want the chat to see me. Cause I just think that they're gonna cringe. When everything's made to be broken. I just want you to be on my binge. I just want you to know who I am. I just want you to know who I am. Open your fucking souls, motherfuckers. Yeah. 
Open up them souls, baby. <gasps> Open up them souls, man. And I don't want the world to see me Cause I don't think that I'd understand When everything's fucking fucked up I just want you to know who I've been Stick it in my soul, baby Stick it in my soul, stick it in my ass, stick it everywhere in the future, in the past, motherfucker. You motherfucker, yeah. Stick it in your soul, baby. Open up them holes. Them wallet holes throw money at the stage. Cringe! Pardon me, sir. Have you noticed that you're cringe? You're cringe. You thought you weren't cringe, but you're cringe. And I don't want the cringers to see me Cause I know that they're gonna cringe Don't cringe, you guys It's okay You're all gonna be okay Your song's giving me Charlie vibes It's all good It's all good What did I just click on? I don't know. I don't fucking know, bitch. The fuck do you want from me, huh? Six city. Restless people. Sing story of a girl. This is more cringe than your Twitter account. My Twitter account is fucking amazing, bro. You know what? You're getting put in time out for being mean. You hurt my feelings, and now you're going to the bad person place. <sighs> TJ's Twitter is maximum cringe. Get out of here. Don't assault my Twitter, bro. Oops, I didn't mean to fucking ban you. That's my bad. I didn't mean to go all the way to banning. Uh, unhide, sorry. Just want to time you out. There you go. That's an appropriate punishment for your stupidity. May the keloid bless you. May the keloid bless and keep you. Hold on. Hold the fuck on, baby. Hold the fucking fuck on, you stupid fucks. Give me a goddamn second, all right?
That ain't gonna work. Unless... Unless... Okay, that needs to be merged. First of all. I want. Yeah. Now we just need a fucking son of a bitch. It's all coming together. No! Fucking fake fucking PNGs, man. Son of a fucking bitch, bro. Why the fuck would you make something look transparent if it ain't fucking transparent, bitch? Don't do that, you fucking assholes. If it ain't actually fucking transparent, don't make it look transparent. I sense a lack of weed, disturbing. Something about smoking, $5, Ignar Husky. Yeah, yeah, everyone needs to smoke weed. I agree with that. There we go, that looks right. This better not be a fucking piece of sh No! God fucking damn it! Are you serious with this shit? God fucking damn you to hell, bitch! You're fucking fake shit. Eat a fucking ass, bitch. Why? Why do people fucking do that? God fucking damn it, bro. Piece of fucking ass shit. Just gonna fucking have to do it. Another fucking... Bullshit, motherfucker. Why is this this hard? This should, I should, the fuck, this should have been done forever ago. It's because these motherfuckers suck ass. And don't fucking goddamn... There's all these fake transparencies on here. And all the ones that are actually transparent fucking suck. Motherfucking bullshit, bro. Bullshit. All right, hold on. All right, is that real? None of these are real. See, this is fucking bullshit. All right, I'm getting, I'm sick. I fucking, I can't take it no more. I can't fucking take it no more. That's the real one. Of all the ones to be real, that one. <laughs> Whatever, man. I'm fucking desperate enough. I'm just going to do it. All right, let's see. Oh, of course, it doesn't want to save, right? That might actually be pretty cool. Let's see if that's a real one. Yeah. Why is this like this, though? Hold up. Why is this fucking so fucked up? I gotta figure out some shit on this fucking Photoshop job I'm trying to do here. 
I've never struggled so much with such a fucking easy task in fucking Photoshop before. I must just be fucking super high. I don't really feel that high. All right. Let's try this again. I'm just starting from scratch. All right. I've selected this. Okay. We're doing this. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. All right. So let's like resize this up. Image size. Yes. Let's go like super big. 3,000 or some shit. Just have the fucking proper... Okay, I meant to, like... Oh, you suck ass. Alright, so first let's merge these two to fucking gather. Alright, image. Image size. I don't give a fuck about that. Pixels, okay. These are tied together, right? Okay, good. Alright. Boom. So now this should be fucking here. Okay. Finally, we're getting somewhere. Okay. Now, if we put that there. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 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 It's all coming together, boy. All right, we got it now. All right, now you guys get to see my project and it's, it's, I spent too long on it. It's not gonna be worth it at this point, but hey, fucking whatever. Check it out. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go here. Check that out, check it out. See what I done? Look. Look. Behold, it's alive, it's alive, <laughs> yes, ah, it was all worth it, it wasn't worth it at all, it was worth it when I thought it was going to take like 30 seconds, but it took like fucking seven minutes, so yeah low energy stream was well, because I was trying to fucking goddamn get some shit together motherfucker you're a jerk you know that you're a fucking asshole you're a real fucking ugh you made me mad you're making me fucking mad bro you made me upset Fuck is going on? I don't know. Fuck is going on as I was trying to put a face on Vosh's fucking keloid, dude. And it took fucking way longer than it should have because there was a bunch of fucking fake transparent GIFs and there was like, I kept downloading fucking low ass res fucking photos of Vosh. And it was just problem upon problem upon problem. But you know, we persevered and we, we got it done. We persevered and we fucking got it done, you guys. That's what really matters at the end of the day. Okay? We did it. We accomplished our goal. We did what we set out to do. So, at the end of the day, can anyone call that a failure? No. No, they cannot. Not if they're honest. Low fat stream. Yeah. Whatever, man. You guys. You guys, man. You motherfuckers, bro. You guys. You guys, man. 
All right, I'm gonna um, yeah. Vosh is key, Lord. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm a, I'm a little bit obsessed with Vosh's key, Lloyd. I don't know why. I don't know what the feeling that it makes me feel is. I don't know if it's a healthy feeling, but it is a feeling. And it exists within me. I can't control it. Yeah. I have Vosh keloid derangement syndrome, dude. I want to fucking I want me and the keloid to go hand in hand galloping through a fucking meadow somewhere you know It'd be a beautiful thing yeah you know what let's fucking let's make it happen bro why not you know what I mean why the fuck not I think the world needs more beautiful things in it Right? I think we could all we could all use a little beauty in our lives. The fuck Photoshop? Go where I tell you to go. Don't be like that. Don't be like that Photoshop. Don't be a meanie. Alright, 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 check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out, bro. Alright, there we go. So that's fucking man. Yeah, yeah. All right. Me and you, and you and me. No matter how we toss the dice, it would be nice. The only one for me is you. And you for me is so happy together. Bada bump bump bada bump bump bada bump bump bum. Right, not quite what I envisioned, but this this seems fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. There we go. All right. Me and you, and you and me. No matter how we toss the dice, it would be nice. The only one for me is you, and you for me. So happy together. Bada bump bump bump, bada bump bump bump, bada bump bump bump. Mm A little bit of feathering, a lot of bit of smoothing. There we go. All right. Boom. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Should we give the keloid the, the woman's hair? I think we should. That's fun. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Wrong tool, wrong tool. No, no, not there. Right here. I 
I love that hat, man. I still got that hat. Oops. Once again, we're having this transparent fucking shit dilemma, man. What we gonna do? Give me this. You can't rush art. You can't fucking rush art. God damn it. Don't fucking try to rush art. You fucking bastards. Son of a bitch, bro. You guys need to fucking mature a little bit. Okay. You realize art doesn't happen instantly. It takes fucking time. It takes energy. It takes power. That looks good. Fucking put that shit. Yeah. Put it over the fucking keloid. Angle that a little different, maybe. Uh, and I can't see if the face fits on there. This is the keloid. Selecting the wrong fucking lair, bitch. No, don't select that fucking lair, motherfucker. What is wrong with you? This lair right here. This is the one I want. Yeah, there you go. And let's fucking, uh... Got a fucking... I don't know, one of these should fucking do it. Uh, 
The problem is you can't really tell it's a fucking, it's a keloid no more if you do that. You gotta fucking lower the opacity. Mm, I don't know. I was kind of feeling it more when it was just the keloid. Yeah. Yeah, that's the powerful stuff. I think the background image got moved out of fucking place too much. Let's see. That's better. That's where it needs to be. Yeah. Yeah. This is fucking high art right here, boys. That's the fucking, that's how it is. That's the way it fucking goes. And I can't, since I can't find the right face for the keloid, I'm gonna fucking just draw one on there. Cause you know what? Sometimes you gotta fucking take matters into your own fucking hands. I don't want that to have a clipping mask. Release clipping mask. And this layer can just go away cause it didn't work out. But I just wanna like, you know, we gotta get that up on there, man. A little bit bigger than one, maybe like two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Much like. Yeah. And the keloid's smiling at me like, yeah, you're my buddy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, motherfucker. Some fucking blush up on that bitch, too. Keloid fucking loves me. Aw. Aw. Has there ever been a love purer? That font really doesn't match. Why would I, why would my ball sack be begotten too? That doesn't make sense. We need like a love font, damn it. We need better, we need better fucking phrasing here. Someone come up with a, while I'm looking for appropriate font, you guys pitch captions for this. Love fonts. Romantic fonts. Goddamn right, bitch. The love font is a little old font where we can love that font, babe. Romantica. Romantico. New romant ah, romantic beach. That seems like a good one. Comic Sans, how dare you? You're the kind of person that would shit on the Mona Lisa. All right. Captions. Keloid looks sus. No, it doesn't. This is officially disturbing. Stop being fucking... You don't know what's what. Keloid, the lovemaker. Double your keloid, double your fun. You guys are not good. Some about middle-aged swingers. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Caption, caption, caption. This, this caption doesn't make any fucking sense. That's like a placeholder. Oh, 
and we got it. We can't fucking that all caps it doesn't it doesn't look good in all caps. Yeah. Their love was too pure. Theirs was a love beyond understanding. TJ and Vosh is keloid. How the fuck does the keloid look sus? The keloid does not look sus. You guys are fucking stupid. Once again, how fucking dumb can you people be? It's fucking pathetic, you guys. You guys are making me so mad. You guys don't know what love is, okay? That's the problem here. Problem is, you guys have given up on love. But love hasn't given up on you, you guys. Okay? Maybe you've given up on love, but love, she don't give up on you. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Love. He love. All right, let's see. I don't necessarily want it on my pants and stuff. Just want it in the background. Don't have to be perfect. Aw. Aw. You guys, aw. I think we're done here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yeah, 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 motherfucker. Key Lord Love. Am I spelling keloid wrong? No, I'm not. Wait, I am. I am! Fuck! No, I spelled it wrong. Okay, hold on. This is okay. We can fix this. We can fix this. Yeah. It's not key. There's no, there's no key in keloid. That's the problem. <laughs> oh yeah. Keloids to my heart. Oh, well. You guys should have been quicker on the caption thing. I just settled for the generic keloid love. The wrong spelling made it better. Fucking whatever. There's both versions out there. You can fucking choose. You can pick and choose which one you prefer the best. A keloid love. It's a beautiful day to love a keloid. Don't fucking call Vosh's keloid nasty. You don't understand. You don't you don't know what love is, okay? You don't know what it's like. To have love in your heart, okay? You're a hateful person. You spew hate. You spew rudeness. You don't appreciate what's good in life, okay? That's the problem here. That's the fucking problem here.
What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. Oh, oh. What the fuck is a keloid? A keloid is um, numerous layers of scar tissue that can result from certain types of injuries that did not heal properly. In the case of Vosh, I think that it was uh, some some gauges that he had in at one point that he removed that did not heal right. And thus he has large keloids uh, dangling from his uh, earlobe. Uh, it's just layers of scar tissue gathered in a, a mass there. Baby, don't hurt me, Keloid. No one knows what it's like to be a Keloid on Vosh's ear on every stream. I actually unironically uh, am fascinated by the keloid in a way that might not be healthy. I don't, I don't know. I think I just demonstrated that it's not, so. But that's what I do. I sit here, I obsess. Play me a song, you're the keloid man, and your keloids are keying my Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm too much of a pussy to get ear gauges. There's no way I'd ever do that. I'd get a tattoo if I could fucking come up with uh, the right one and find the right artist, but the ear stretching thing, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't really see it as a, being an aesthetically pleasing choice personally, but whatever, obviously people can do whatever they want. Well, I think I'm going to go watch some fucking B-Stars. I'm going to go try to get deeper into that second season and shit. See what goes on. See what's going to go on in the world of Lagoshi and his, uh, his pals. So thank you guys very much for joining me. Hopefully, uh, you know, no offense to Vosh. Uh, wasn't really meant to be like a personal attack or anything i guess it, it got a little out of hand but you know whatever um uh and uh yeah just to, just to refresh lola bunny uh wanting to fuck lola bunny does not make you a furry and um um yeah that's it it's pretty much the only point that we've come to see you next time <laughs>